So this water bottle's got some scaling built up on the inside of it. Uh, probably because I've been putting lemon water in here instead of just regular water. So we're going to try and use baking soda and vinegar to clean this out. And see how that works. Um, first thing I'm going to do is fill this with hot water. Put a few spoons of uh, baking soda in there and let that sit for a while. Maybe like 30 minutes. And... Uh, then we'll dump that out, put some vinegar in there, and use that. And we'll see how this works. So yeah, clarity check right now. Need some work. So I got the baking soda in there with the hot water. I uh, actually added about 16 scoops of baking soda since this is a one gallon container. Um, and I was actually surprised because as I put it in there, you can kind of see it's actually Got some little micro bubbles bubbling up. I don't know if you can see that on the video or not, but it's definitely doing something. So when we finish, I'm gonna leave this sit for probably about 30 minutes. Uh, dump this out into the drain of the sink. I'm actually gonna do two things. We'll put it in the drain of the sink and then put some vinegar down there too to help clear out the drain. Because every time my dishwasher goes, it gets backed up. But We'll let that sit and pour it out, put some vinegar in there and see what it does. So it's been about 30 minutes, still seeing some spots where it's dark and got the spots on it. I'm imagining I might have to get in there with a brush and brush some of these off, but we'll see what happens when I do the vinegar. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and take the cap off. Dump this bad boy in the sink. See what I mean about the slow drain. And then we're gonna pour some vinegar in there. It actually doesn't look horrible. It looks a little better, but the bottom's still got a bunch of scaling on it. So let's see how it goes with the vinegar. <laughs> I guess what would that be? Yeah. So we got the vinegar in there. Now we're going to go ahead and add some more baking soda and just let it do its thing. Now this uh, cleaning method was actually designed for some of those little blender bottles, not a one gallon container when I read it online, so yeah, I guess uh, we'll see how well this works on a bigger container like this. So I'm going to leave that sit for a couple more minutes, and we'll put some hot water in there, and we'll rinse it out and see how that works. So it's been about five minutes. Uh, it's been in there. Really isn't bubbling much anymore. Uh, so what I'm going to do real quick, I've got a brush that I can clean dishes with, and it doesn't really quite. Well, I'll just go in there lightly. See what I can do to scrape the bottom. See if it gets any of that crud off. Side with that. I don't have a pipe cleaner, otherwise I'd get the handle that way, but yeah, this really isn't doing much since it's not quite long enough. Yeah, I don't really have high hopes for this, but I guess we'll see. So I'll put on some hot water. Side of it too.
actually, it's not bad. That's actually pretty impressive. There's still a little light scaling in spots, but I'm actually pretty impressed. That worked pretty good. And it looks like most of those mildew or weird organic growth spots are gone. So yeah, I'm just going to rinse this with hot water until the vinegar smell is gone, but I would say that actually worked pretty good. So I'm actually very impressed with how well that turned out. Um, there's a few scratches and scrapes on the bottom that make it look pretty dirty, but it's actually fairly clean. Uh, I can say that the spots that I just lightly went over with the brush definitely helped um, because there's a few spots over here where there's still a little bit of scale on there. Um, couldn't quite hit it underneath here with not having a brush that's very long. Didn't really see much in the handle, but there's a little bit in there. So if I have a pipe cleaner next time, I'll go through and do it. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, put a link to this bottle if you're interested in the description below. It was about 20 bucks on Amazon or something like that. Not bad for a one gallon water bottle that you can take with you to the gym or to the park or whatever. So yeah, that's how it's done. If you guys like videos like this, uh, go ahead and give us a like. Subscribe to the channel and come up with ideas for what else you want me to see me do.